Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Bars and Barbells, your favorite reaction channel. And I've got my co-host with me today, Samantha. Hey guys. You guys all know Samantha because she's so lovely. And I'm me, I'm Phil. So that's just, that's, that's all there is to it. I'm just here to hype up Samantha. That's right. So we've got Billy Joel today. Scenes from an Italian wrestler. We've never done Billy Joel before. No, it's the first time on the channel. What do you know about Billy Joel? Absolutely nothing. All right, that makes two of us. And uh, we're doing Billy Joel, a live version here. It says live from yeah. Long Island as a recommendation or a request, I should say, from one, mm -hmm. our, one of our subscribers uh, who's really, really supported the channel. Uh, Rob, thank you very much. Yes. Again. So grateful. Thank you so much. Yes. And his recommendations have been fired thus far. So, so good. So we're excited to check this one out. But that's why we're jumping into a live version. Haven't heard anything from Billy Joel. But if yeah. you guys have other recommendations for Billy Joel, a studio version, uh, whatever, then hit them in the comments below and let us know. And uh, we really do appreciate the contributions, guys from our subscribers because we don't get paid really anything at all from these videos Copyright. Uh, yeah the publishing licensing companies usually claim it and so any of the support that you guys give us really helps us build the channel builds us with lighting camera work microphones all of that stuff so uh, if you want to buy us a cup of coffee yeah, there's a link below in the description and we always appreciate any contribution so thank you, thank you so, much, so much for all the help guys we really appreciate it 75,000 subscribers here we are so with that said Billy Joel, this song is apparently um, got uh, a few of, different parts to it, right? Yeah, a few different parts, but I don't really know what that's gonna mean because scenes from an Italian restaurant is kind of random. I don't, yeah. you know, it's not. Like, I mean, what I'm picturing in my head could be totally wrong. There's like different things going on in the same restaurant at the same time, but who knows? Yeah, I mean, Billy Joel though is apparently pretty successful from yeah. what we looked into. Yeah, I don't really know anything about him, what? but we just did the quick background. It said he was like one of the top four selling artists in the history of the United States, which yeah. is wild. Which, you know, I know, I've heard the name, but... Yeah, me too. I, I never really thought that it. he was that influential, you know? Yeah. So now... Apparently we're... he's mean on the piano, so I'm excited to see if that comes in this too. All right. <laughs> yeah, isn't there a song like Piano Man? Yeah, I think so. That's really popular? I believe so. You believe so? I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. You guys, wrong, you guys let us know. You guys can let us know. All right. Are you done with the chit chat? Yeah, let's get to it. Are you done? Yeah, you guys are always done with the chit chat. You're like, come on, let's go, let's go. All right, let's get it. Billy Joel, scenes from an Italian restaurant. A bottle of white, a bottle of red, perhaps a bottle of rose instead. We'll get a table near the streets in our old familiar place. You and I, face to face. Mm -hmm. A bottle of red. Bottle of whites. It all depends upon your appetite. I'll meet you anytime you want in our Italian restaurant.
All right, how are you how are you feeling, Samantha? This is so cool. Yeah, what do you like about it? I loved like when it picked up the tempo and they brought in like the saxophone and the I think that was a mini trumpet. I don't even know what that was, but it was really cool um, how they picked up the tempo a lot and brought in like the brass instruments and it's like there's like a lot of layers to the instrumentation in this, which is cool. It's very upbeat. Yeah. So is it more of like a party vibe for you, or you know, it was cool. It started had... slower, but then it just went like. Whoosh. Yeah, I think that's like kind of like the three part or two part, whatever we yeah. had four part. I don't know. Um, can't remember. We they like said it had multiple parts in the beginning, right? Or when we talked about it in the beginning. Sorry. So I I think that's kind of like the different layers that they're adding into it. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's interesting because I feel as though this might be a concert favorite. Yeah. You know. Well, it's crazy. It's really cool to see a lot. Well, they even brought out the table there, right? Like <laughs> the Italian restaurant. The restaurant yeah. table and did the wine thing at the beginning. So it's part of the performance aspect. I feel like might be, as I said, something that's really, you know, people would look forward to when he was doing a concert. Yeah. Um, and also because it's got these different parts to it where, you know, it starts off and it's a little bit slower, but picks, picks up the energy. I don't know what we're going to finish with it the, as a back half. But, you know, it's it's got that, you know, performance component to it which is interesting For i sure. think it might be harder to get this groove in you know just listening to a studio vibe yeah. or something like that but it's interesting that's why i was just asking you know what kind of vibe it gives you yeah. what's your feeling of listening to it because i could see you were grooving out pretty hard there yeah and it's got that dance vibe to it yeah but it's got this interesting kind of storytelling aspect mm -hmm. as well about you know this like high school sweetheart kind of feel too. yeah yeah there's i like feel like there's almost though, like I could be wrong, but how I mentioned in the beginning, it almost sounded like they were talking about different groups of people, like how like when you go to a restaurant, there's different people. Mm -hmm. I feel like that might be similar with what he's talking about, because he's kind of talking in the beginning about two people catching up after a long time, and he had mentioned like um, that they hadn't seen each other in a while, and talking about their new life and things that they're doing now, and then reminiscing almost on past memories, but then it kind of like switched lanes again, and that little third kind of switch there about, now it sounds like he's talking about, like you said, high school sweethearts, so yeah. I don't know if they're talking about the same group of people, or if it's like these are just different people, and you're picturing an Italian restaurant where there's like this couple at this table, and this couple at this table. So, yeah, it, who knows? It's, it's cool, <laughs> it's just a cool composition overall. Anyways, so let's keep it going, see what we would finish off with in the second half, I and mean, we're only halfway through, so. Yeah. Still going steady in the summer of 75 and They decided the marriage would be at the end of July People said they were crazy But do you know that you're much too lazy And Eddie could never afford to live that kind of life
Yeah, it was so good. I love that. Yeah, he did such a good job on the piano too. I really liked like the pre- prevalence of the piano. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just overall it, there was so much to it. You know, you had him on the piano. You had, I think somebody else on the keys as well. I don't mm-hmm. know if there was some uh, organ stuff that they were going in with there as well. But everything, you know, from, like you mentioned before, the brass coming in and, and being so predominant throughout this. I don't think I don't think I've we've done a song on the channel thus far that had that much in it. We've yeah. done, we've had a few songs that have featured a saxophone solo or yeah, something like that. Yeah, little pieces. But this was really, you know, prevalent so throughout good. the whole song. And I thought it was just a great composition overall. We, I, you know, we've paused it halfway through. I really wasn't sure to, uh, you know, where we were going to go with the track, but it made a lot of sense as we finished the second half of, you know, how they had this introduction and then this main piece that was much more high energy and then the outro was very similar to the intro. Yeah, bring it back like full circle. Almost. Yeah, of like telling that story of like, you know, I'll go to the Italian restaurant with you and ever, right? Yeah. And uh, so it was cool the way I thought that, you know, they brought it home and put it all together. And like I said, midway through as well, the performance aspect was so dominant throughout this. It's such a great performance. Uh, yeah, by all of them. Great vocal. Didn't drop off at all. No, it was so strong. Background vocals, adding them in at the right time, in the right mix. Yeah. Um, adding these series of instruments at the right time. So overall, I just thought it was great. Yeah, no, me too. Like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Samantha. Two thumbs up as well. Yes. So I guess it's 12 out of 12. <laughs> now you need a thumbs up on your side of the the equation as well hit that button for us and leave us a comment let us know if you enjoyed it yep. um, anything else from Billy Joel that you enjoy we're always open to suggestions and that's how we've run the channel thus yep. far so if you got a suggestion drop it down low and maybe it will come up on our next video but that's it from us today come back tomorrow see what we got cooking thanks for watching guys see you next time